the first thing you are going to do is go ahead and set your oven for 400 degrees because you're going to cook the squash for about an hour and there is my squash and I'm just going to cut it uh, long wise and I'm not going to lie that thing was hard to cut um, you need some muscle um, yeah it was hard and I cut myself after I switched knives uh, yeah, so hopefully you have better knives, and hopefully you are smarter than me, and you don't do that right there, because, yeah, it's not a good idea for me to be doing that that way, but anyway, um, I eventually got it cut open, and there you can see, and yep, there's where I cut myself, bad knives. And I guess I should have had it more secure. I just kind of had it rolling around. But anyway, so I'm just going to scrape out the insides and um, you keep the seeds. You can toast them if you wanted. So, ta-da! There it is. Pretty squash. And, yeah, I used a spoon to get all the stuff out of the middle. And it kind of took a while, so if you have a better suggestion, please let me know. Or if you've ever made this before, any tips you might have, that would be great. But uh, I'm going to put it on a cookie sheet, which later I wished I would have put some foil on the bottom or something. Because when they come out of the oven, like the juices from the inside came out and got my pan all dirty. But I'm going to put uh, some olive oil on top. And I got that olive oil bottle from Dollar Tree. And my little butter dish on the counter there is also from Dollar Tree. And then I'm just going to salt and pepper them lightly. Um, and I got those from Dollar Tree too. And you don't have to get crazy with the seasonings because, if, you know, if you wanted to, when it comes out, you can season it. Um, I probably won't. I'm just going to leave it like that. So, yeah. And then um, I'm just going to rub the oil all around. And then uh, you turn them over to cook them. It is that simple. And then I'm going to stick them in the oven. And you're going to know when they're done uh, when you get a knife and you can poke it through and it goes through really easy. But I'll show you that when they get out later. So while those are in the oven, I am going to uh, get my pan for my meat sauce. And I'm just going to put some olive oil on the bottom of the pan. And then I'm going to put some seasoning blend in there. It's just onions and like uh, green peppers and some red peppers in there. And I'm going to cook those and saute them until they get nice and soft because I want them soft. I don't want them hard. Um, I don't like that. I like everything to be like that to be soft. So I'm just going to put, I don't know, that's probably just maybe a half a cup. And there is my turkey, which is 97% uh, fat-free. And um, it's farm to table, and it's a pound. Um, you can use ground beef if you would like. Um, I'm just using some turkey today because I'm trying to cut down on red meat just a little bit. So I thought I would um, use turkey, or you could use chicken if you wanted, ground chicken. Um, and then I bought another one. I think I'm gonna do meatballs with those later on in the week. Anyway, I'm going to get that sautéing. And the squash is done. And see, there's the brown stuff that went all over my cookie sheet, which was hard to clean up after. I had to let it soak. but And you can see I've already poked the top just to make sure that they were done. And they were done in 45 minutes. Maybe my oven runs hot, which I think it does. Um, but yeah, and the knife just goes right in. It's nice and soft. So I'm just going to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn them over so you can see. They are definitely hot because all the steam come up, but look how pretty that is. I love roasted vegetables. I'm going to start trying to eat more vegetables. Very nice. 
but they are hot and I'm just gonna put them to the side and let them cool so um, I can actually pick them up and later and scrape out the insides to show you. And there is my sauteed onions. And I'm just going to put my um, ground turkey in. And from what I have read about ground turkey and ground chicken is, I mean, you really got to season it well, I guess. So I'm just going to put a little salt in there, and then I'm going to put my seasonings in. Um, uh, the first seasoning is uh, garlic and herbs, which I got from Dollar Tree. It's Kingsford brand. And I put that uh, pretty much in everything, eggs, um, pork chops, all kinds of stuff. And then there is, of course, Cajun seasoning, which is Kingsford from the Dollar Tree. There's, we love our Cajun seasonings down here. I live in the deep south in Louisiana. So we like all that. And then I'm just going to get it all stirred together. And it actually put, cooked pretty quick. Um, it didn't take long at all. I'm just going to add a little bit more salt. Not too much, though. And there you go. It's all cooked. And I do have another pot there on the stove with regular spaghetti noodles because my husband said he doesn't want the squash. But I am going to get him at the end of the video to taste it because I think he'll like it. But, um, yep. And this is a quick and easy sauce because there you go. Jar sauce which you could definitely make your own. Um, sometimes, I, well, a lot of times I use canned sauce and I'm just using a jar. And it's just the Great Value brand, just traditional, I think it said traditional sauce. I'm trying to get all of it out so I don't waste. And then I always put the um, McCormick spaghetti uh, seasoning in there. It was thick and zesty. And I was thinking about putting half in and then changed my mind. Just went ahead and put all of it, why not? I mean, it calls for the whole pack, but most of the time I'll just use half. And then I'm just gonna get it all stirred up. But I do wanna say thank you today so much for watching this video. And if you're new here, thank you for being here. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And there you go. And I'm just going to put the lid on and let it simmer. Clean up my mess while I wait. And there's the squash and it's nice and cool. I can actually pick it up. But there it is. It looks so good. And then you just get your fork and you just start scraping. And like magic, there's just, there's your noodles. Ta-da! Look at that. Look at that. Noodles. And if you want, I've seen recipes where they just leave, you know, get all the, scrape it up like that, and then just put your meat sauce right in there and just eat it right out of there. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put some on a plate. And you can just scrape it right in. Look at that. And they do look just like noodles. Really thin noodles. And there's a lot in there. I was surprised. But anyway, so now I'm gonna get my sauce that I have on the stove. See, noodles. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some sauce on my plate. And the sauce is very hot. Um, yeah. see the steam so I'm just gonna put me some sauce on my spaghetti squash and then I'm going to let it cool so I can give it a little taste test for you and I'm gonna get my husband to try he's in there trying to watch TV so we'll see how that goes but there it is
and now I'm going to taste. You can see the steam still hot a little bit, but that's okay. It smells good, and let me tell you, it tastes good, very good. I mean, the sauce is so quick and easy. You just gotta wait on the squash, 45 minutes or an hour. Very good. Now I'm gonna get my husband to try it. He's in there trying to watch TV and take a bite at the same time. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.